Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stock Market Analysis. Last week, markets fell swiftly on Thursday and Friday, but I don't feel this is the time to panic. Watch the whole video to understand why. If you're enjoying this content, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. I completely forgot last week to mention that both S&P 500 index futures and NASDAQ 100 futures will be rolling over to the new contract this week. That was a big miss on my part. I have mentioned this before that the days around rollovers of future contracts are usually important periods of heightened volatility. As index futures contracts are quarterly contracts, which means these contracts roll over every three months, when there is a rollover due, there could be unusual activity related to rollovers or big positions being closed or market makers adjusting their average price to stay ahead of the game. I believe the price drop in S&P 500 index and NASDAQ 100 that started on Thursday close into Friday was driven by this rollover activity. As you can see the new futures contracts of S&P 500 and NASDAQ side by side that even though the price declined sharply there was not a sharp decline in OBV for both of these contracts. Since both of these contracts have rolled over to the next month contract we will have to redo or adjust our drawings to the new contract because prices could be slightly different in the current month contract and in the future month contract which trades simultaneously so let's fix our drawings and we will come back to both of these contracts one by one let's start with S&P 500 index futures contract this is the final picture of how the drawings are set up for MES September contract. You can clearly see the divergence we talked about in the earlier section. Now, even though we did not see volume come in with this price movement, that does not mean that on Monday we may not see that volume come in eventually. So as a trader, we should be prepared for both scenarios, prices going up and down, and we should use technical analysis and indicators on our chart to guide us to figure out in which direction we should take the trade. Now, if you remember from my last video, I did point out this pattern of three tops that occurred around late April, and similar pattern could emerge, and it did emerge last week. So one can definitely make a case that there is resistance above these prices and the resistance from late April re-emerged a slightly lower prices which caused the prices to actually decline. So overall we have two scenarios in which the resistance keeps coming down and keeps pushing the prices even further lower and the other scenario is that this price movement down which is not supported by OBV is just a fake out and in the coming weeks prices may rally shocking everyone and trapping all the short sellers that are excited over this weekend. We'll come back next week and we'll find out what happened. Let's move on to MNQ. Here I have marked multiple resistance zones for MNQ as well so we can clearly understand that there is resistance in these areas. Currently the price has fallen down as you can see without OBV support. When the price moved above the last resistance zones 1, 2 and 3 we did encounter further resistance which led to this current recent price decline. So again we have similar two scenarios for MNQ as well. We have a resistance zone established above and it may push the prices further down as it tries to go lower with the prices. And the other scenario is that the prices rally higher trapping all the short sellers and causing a big rally in NASDAQ. We will find out next week what happened. Let's keep an eye on OBV and price action. 
let's talk about VIX futures. As one can imagine, with the market declining, people would rush to buy insurance, which is the VIX futures contract. We had prices decline earlier in the week, and then on Thursday and Friday, prices rally higher, reaching close to 30. Prices reached above and hit angle number three from top. This has been a pattern identified in previous videos where VIX reaches and hits on angle number three. And then after one more try or one more push of angle number three, it starts to decline, causing the market to start a rally back up to the new highs. We would mark the OBV level, which corresponds to the recent low. This is the final picture with angle number two three and four going up and angle number three four five going down again make a note that the downtrend with angle number three is the long-term trend so once we get a confirmation with obv falling below the mark that we just created with the horizontal red line and prices coming down pushing on angle number three that we could start to see a decline in vix prices again we'll come back next week and see what happened in the market Let's talk about crude. Last week crude broke above 120 mark which was predicted in our last few videos. Prices push on angle number one and created a new angle number one. Also prices stayed above angle number three showing market strength. We did see OBV almost going sideways now for the last whole week which means there might be a lot of limit orders up top. This is the final picture for crude. We have angle number one and two from top and angle number three and four from bottom going up. We do have sideways action on OBV. We marked the OBV low corresponding to the recent price low on angle number four from going up. Most probable scenario for the next two weeks would be a price correction. Before the price correction starts, we could see a sharp spike up in crude prices before that correction takes effect. We'll come back next week and see what happened in crude. Let's talk about the price action in gold futures. We saw gold bounce from 1830, which was a previous low from where it found support. We have now rallied higher on Friday all the way to the top to the previous highs. Again, looking at OBB, we can see clear divergence between those two highs. Let's fix our drawings. Looking at this final picture of gold futures, we can see gold is trapped between this sideways action. The range is between 1830 and close to 1900. The prices have been bouncing between this area for about a month now. However, this divergence in OBV between the last two equal highs may play out in the coming weeks where gold finally declines and passes below 1830. If we do see a sharp increase in OBV to support a move higher, we will keep an eye on this. However, this sharp angle of prices going up rarely holds for a long time. Right now, the next angle above angle number two and three would be angle number four going up will be almost 70 degrees sharp. So keep an eye on the OBV and price action. We will come back next week to review what happened in gold futures. Let's talk about the price action in Tesla. I still remain bullish on Tesla. We did see some decline of prices on Friday. However, you can clearly see that OBV stayed sideways. We did push on angle number two before going up and pushing on angle number three. Let's review the final drawings on Tesla. We do have a strong downtrend in place, which is long term. And that can be seen with angle number two and three going down very closely. So it's going to produce resistance in the future for sure. I took a long around 630 price area earlier and I'm going to start buying again in Tesla. Uh, however, I'll keep a close eye on OBV. If we push on angle number two further down, but stay above angle number one and OBV BV comes in to support the price movement higher, I will definitely start buying in Tesla. We will come back next week and take a look at what happened in the markets. Let's take a look at price action from Apple. 
we did see prices come down with OBV supporting that move down, which is kind of different with what we saw on NASDAQ in general and on Tesla. However, we still have a positive divergence in OBV going up. So we will mark that OBV low corresponding to the recent price low as our reference. If prices continue to go down with OBV further going below this red horizontal line, we could see sharp declines in Apple prices. Again, the picture looks bearish for Apple. We have angle two, three, four, five, and six going down. We will come back next week and see what exactly happened in Apple. Now let's take a look at Microsoft. We did see prices come down with OBV. However, we did not break below the horizontal line we had made last week on the OBV for Microsoft. We did come close to angle number one at the bottom and we have pushed on angle number two all the way to the bottom. In this final picture, we do, we do see that positive divergence in OBV for the prices in Microsoft. Hopefully, we will bounce back from angle number one or make a very slight dip below the recent lows and then start a move higher. This is typical when there is a turnaround in the market that prices will quickly go below the previous lows so that they can shake out some weak longs and then start the rally back up up. Keep an eye on OBV and we will leave our horizontal red line to mark our recent low. If OBV doesn't fall below this level, we should be good for our long entries. We'll come back next week and see what happened in Microsoft. Okay, last but not least, my favorite Nvidia. We did see a price drop in Nvidia. However, again, like every other tech stock, we saw the price decline with lack of OBV. Now we are seeing this as a general theme in the market and I want you guys to make a note of this that when this happens, this could be a bear trap, which means sooner or later, bulls will rush through this price range, pushing the prices all the way to the top through the resistance and in the case of Nvidia that would be pushing prices close to 200 and higher. Now since we are so close to angle number one we could possibly see price come down a little bit on Monday or Tuesday before rallying up higher. Let's take a look at the final picture. We have a clear divergence in OBV and we will keep an eye on this divergence. Hopefully the prices will rise above this horizontal line in OBV and hopefully as prices go higher we will see an increase in OBV crossing this horizontal red line of OBV confirming that volume is coming in to take the prices higher. We will come back next week to see what happened in NVIDIA. Hope you guys liked this episode of Market Analysis. I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like this video. Also, if you have any other stocks or futures that you want me to review in these episodes, feel free to leave a comment and I would include them in my future videos. Thank you so much. Happy trading. Stay safe out there.